Good evening once again from Muncie. Uh, we are up to the uh, fifth bracha of Shmona Esrei, Hashivei Avinu Sarasecha. And here there's an introduction from the Levush in the Old Church Field Sitter, which says that the Levush writes that the fifth bracha is Hashiveinu, and it corresponds to that which Malachim said, Bruch HaTo Hashem HaRotzeh B'Shuva, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepted Reuben's Shuva, and uh, when... Uh, Yaakov Avinu guys said, when Moshe Avinu said, I guess that that already was um, already back uh, the quote from Kodesh Baruch Hu, so to speak. I'm sorry, it's Yaakov who said that. Uh, the quote from Kodesh Baruch Hu, uh, when he accepted Reuven's Tshuva. And why does Tshuva come after Bina? Because it says, the, the, the heart of this nation became fat, and its ears became heavy. They know of Hosha, and its eyes um, looked away. Penyere they know of lest it see with its eyes. Boaznovish might hear with its ears. Boaznovish, and with the heart will understand. Boaznovish, and then return and be healed. So it's Bina, which brings the person to Juba. He's Boaznovish, which brings the person to Juba. Uh, and that is the end of the quote from the bush, and then whoever this is in the Old Church Philos says, means to say that as a result of the day of Adas and Bina, that a person applies to his chatoim, he comes to tshuva. And we ask Kosh Baruch Hu to subjugate and uh, and uh, suppress the arrogance of the Yitzhahara. Gavas Yitzreinu. The Mach of the Machzor Kobo, by the way, in the old days, Machzor did not mean specifically a uh, sitter for Yom Nerim. Any sitter was called a Machzor. Um, then there's Baruch there are 15 letters corresponding to the tshuva which reaches, reaches to Kisei HaKova, which is after seven Rikim, seven heavens, and eight Avirim, areas be, uh, between the heavens. And the Leo Rabba expands this and says that, he, that this includes the uh, air from the Rokia El Yon, from the highest uh, firmament, and until Kisei HaKova, which is above them. The Marks of also writes, Corresponds to the which has 15 letters, 15 words, I'm sorry. The uh, uh, tour the has a different variation uh, on, the, um, on, this, on this idea of, um, of the, the Samar Kim and 8, eight, eight uh, Avirim, which we'll leave out for now. And the bracha it says here starts with a hay and ends with a hay corresponding to a Saras Five plus five equals ten. Um, I would say that Tesvav uh, fifteen is obviously has to do with the uh, Olam Hazeh, the Kodesh Baruch Hu who created this uh, uh, this world as a world of struggle. Kiara caves call me Chamal Hashem Ba'Malek Mi Dor Dor, and that struggle is uh, corresponds to the uh, struggle which we have against the Eight Sahara. Which corresponds to the show we have against the Amalek. And I would also say that Tesvav represents 15 steps in the base of Mikdash, which one ascends in order to come close to Akadosh Baruch Hu, and therefore one says this in order to ascend to come close to Akadosh Baruch Hu. So we begin with Hashibenu Avinu Zoro Secho, and the um, the um, uh, the Dabar Shalom says as follows uh, the per- a person's um, Matters concern Machshaba, Dibor, and Maiseh, thought, speech, and deed. Hashveil Vino Secha, that's Dibor in speech, because Torah, the primary myths of Lima Torah, is the Dibor. The Karvein Lavara Secha is the Maiseh, in deed, in Maiseh. Machzem Shuva, Machshaba. Shuva is in the thought. Uh, by Shuva, the, the primary Component says the Dorei Shom is is as if as a chet, bemes, true for leaving behind the sin. My grandma says that uh, that that a kosh baruch who knows the secrets of our should be able to testify that he will not return to this um, to this sin ever again. And therefore it says in the lefanecha, the same shiva shema lefanecha that you should see our tshuva shlema and certify it. You should testify the tshuva. It's also possible to explain it's based on Chazal's um, statement that Kedola Tshuva Shemagas Kisei Kavod Zel Lufanecha. Well, going back to the seven Rakim and Eavir, to get the Kisei Kavod, 
that's a person So therefore, we want to get Um So now, in turn, he's the famous medrash, which he's paraphrasing here. In, in terms of tshuva, neither the Chachma, Navua, nor Torah agreed that there should be some sort of takana for a sinner. The Chachma said, let him die. The Torah said, let him die. And Navua said, let him die. When the Baruch Hu agreed to be Makabal tshuva, the tshuva uh, of a sinner. Therefore, it says, "Harot said b'tshuva that Hashem wants the tshuva. You're the one who wants our tshuva." Harot said b'tshuva at the end of the bracha, um, because the Kashmir is the one who wants it. This is what it says come in Yirmiyo, Paragdal Pasukav. In Toshu b'Yisraelu, Hashem elai Toshu. If you do tshuva, you come back to me. In Toshu Shikutzecha, and if you remove your uh, repugnant uh, uh, images. Mipanai, below Tanu, you be, from from before me, you will not have to be uh, moved from your land. If you want to do tshuva to me, because I want to tshuva, that's good. But besides me, Torah and Chachma don't agree with this. Uh, so, but, but you, the even before me has to be tshuva shlema, that you remove all, all all those repugnant things before me, because I know the says the Kodesh the secrets of the heart. I will testify if it was only an external removal of the shikutzim uh, um, or if it was a true aziva sachet that you no longer will deviate to go back to that sin anymore. Um, so uh, the uh, I'm to, I forgot I'm about to interject about last time about Bechayin Das. And he, and he said that even the Surah of the Svari, the Dota Mizrach, it says, they have been of Haskell, Mahali, an unscientific look, check into one. A Dota Mizrach sitter revealed that it says, Maybe it's supposed Kabbalistic, post uh, Rizal, the A Dota Mizrach sitter, but that one sitter I checked said, Chachmabinavadas. Okay, so the. Um, uh, the, in the uh, Tikkun Tefillah, it brings down a whole bunch of different uh, um, different uh, issues with the lotion here, and uh, he brings down here something from the Karoim, the Tikkun Tefillah. Uh, he says uh, at, in the Nusach of the Bnei Roma. In the meaning of Kappa and Karasov, it says, Hashibim is for a sech with Abkenu mitzvah secha, which we don't have, who connect us to a mitzvah, the Karvenu, etc. And that's the Sukhul Rambam. The Max of Bitri says, Hashibim is a vino of a sech with Abkenu mitzvah secha. Also, says Dabkenu mitzvah secha. But all the other Nusachos we have don't have Dabkenu mitzvah secha. Now, in the Nusach Hasfaradi, Minhag Kappa and Karasov, he found a new thing that which he saw in no other nusuk in the world that hey uh, they uh, they say um, in two places they take the verb chazar which uh, he says is Aramaic and make it as if it's Hebrew and so instead of hazirenu in this bracha and machazir because about a Oh, I see. They take that back and say, Hashivenu Hameshiv. They say here, Hashivenu Bishivashlim and Venecha. And Hamachazir Shrina Solitzion, they say Hameshiv Shrina Solitzion. So where does it come from? So he says that they came from a source which is not Tahor, uh, which is a sitter which first was published in the year Tuf Tzadikhe, which is. Um, in 1735 uh, and uh, and uh, very few people had seen it and uh, 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 beforehand um, and then one of the Gvirim of the Karoim whose name was Ramosha Kukus uh, printed it in the Tfus of the of the brothers B'nai Mikra after Yarka and Shabsa Yarka B'nai Mikra Karoim uh, 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 under the Ashkacha of some Reb Lezer Reb Yisachar. And these brothers, the owners of this this, this, this the Fus, hated from eternity the Talmud and its and its uh, and its uh, signal, its its style. 
Uh, and so they used, without doubt, this time when the sitter came to their hands to print. Evidently, I don't know if it was a Karoi sitter, but they printed it in a Karoi uh, printing shop. Um, and they, uh, they, 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 they used it in their, their opportunity to uh, distort the, um, the, the Malechus Re'em, the work of their friends, I guess the other Jew, the real Jews, the rabbin, rabbinic Jews, the Yotza Egel Azeh. And this, uh, this golden calf came out. Um, and since uh, uh, it was not at that time, the Nusach was unclear, evidently, they were able to cause other rabbis to uh, not realize this case because they didn't pay attention to this. Uh, and then he says, however, that they forgot to change it in El Kain Nishoma Shosatabi, El Arzirabi, and El Machazir Nishomos. There they left it. Um, anyway, so uh, then he says that after 58 years, these array became the Shonas which are, which people followed, this Hashibenu and Hameshiv, and people assumed that they were correct. And when that series was reprinted again in oh, 17, um, 1793, so uh, there were the they were no longer the Sidur in which they no longer had other, wherever they printed it here, I guess, in the city, they're no longer the Sidur. So it's not astonishing that they did this again. And when it was later published in Mezerov, uh, in a kosher tfus, they also did not have the, um, have the, uh, notice it that they should fix the, the Nusach. Anyway, so the two things here in the Tikkun field. First, the Tikkun field is which was in old, earlier, uh, uh, we don't have it, and the truth is, it doesn't fit so much into this, uh, into this, into this bracha. But you could see how it would fit in. The other thing is that some people, some evidently karoim and their students don't like the word chazar, which is an Aramaic word. So therefore, they put in hashivenu b'shuvash lemalafanecho later on, and he gave a little bit of a um, his history of the sitter in that way, how the sitter developed that way. But after all said and done, big deal. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would have said this all over, but I realized where it was going. So, getting back to the bracha itself. It says, you should bring us back our father, Lusara Secha. Right? And the Corbeno bring us close, Malkenu, our king, Lavoda Secha. So, a, a, a Torah is a, a loving relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu can bring us back to Torah in that relationship of off. But Avoida is Avoida of a Melech. And that, if the Melech, make, melech, is that the melech um, uh, br- makes you do the Avoida, so then it loses its, uh, uh, it loses its point. So it's, a, it's a forced labor. We don't want to be forced labor. So therefore, by Torah, we say, no, bring us all the way back to Torah. But by Avoida, which we don't want to be forced labor, bring us close. And then, obviously, it's up to us to do the rest. You can really learn that this is Hashivenu Avinu, you give us that Isarusa de Leila, that first uh, 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 wave of uh, his Arus of arousal, and then the Noshuva Elecha will come back to Just bring us close to your Avodah, and already will be involved in that Avodah Sashem. That is, when one has Torah and Avodah. One has the uh, Torah, which is the ma, the, the Dibur, and ma, ma, Aveda, which is the Maaseh, or you can learn uh, that one is the uh, learning and one is the emotion. Maybe we'll do a slightly different version. But in any event, that is, brings us back with Shuvah Shleim HaLofanecha, that makes it a total Shuvah. And then, Baruch HaTor Hashem HaRotzeh Bis Shuvah, since you want Shuvah, this is like we say in the, I think the, it just brings this down, say by Eli, you know, Kilot HaKpots of Mos HaMeskim, Shuvah Me, we show the Chaya, because Baruch Hu's basic desire, his will is that we should do tshuva and not be lost, as we show him in any way, shape, or form. So therefore, we have this right to come before him and ask him for, to grant us this Hashivenu, this Korvenu, as, his, uh, as our Avinu, as our Merkenu, this our Secha, Lavada Secha, and we should come Lefanecha. Good night from Muncie, New York.